done, now we can go to the pages. And the pages are going to look like this. Uh, let me first show you one I already did. So this is my first insert I made. So this flips to the left. Then I created a pocket on this side. Then we have an opening where we can put some nice um, insert later. And then another pocket and another flip page. And yeah, you can make that um, with a pocket on top. And again, a pocket with an insert and pocket. And this one is actually a secret pocket. So you can put something in too. And on the back, this is a little tuck spot. So yeah, you can do every page, whatever you like. Um, but the meaning is that this goes, let me see, that this goes over your hinge like this, and then another one, and another one, and go on and on. And then this really fits perfectly. So that is the meaning that we are going to do. So the page will look like this at first and you see it's an A4 size I always like using that so what we are going to do and I'm going to uh, show you of course how I did that let's see how I fold it back in but yeah this looks like this and then the pocket and then this is the insert which we are going to close with a nice little hinge so this will come over here so this will close it will be closed so opening it up this is the middle and then this on the other side that is the page all right so let's do that together all right so I will need a small, well not a small, an A4. And my A4 is always 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. And in inches it's 8 one fourth by 11 five of an eight inch. So that is my base. Well, we're going to use these measurements. I'm going to score this piece at five three fourth. Then I'm going to turn it and score it at three and a half and a seven. And we are going to need a small slice of this paper to cut down. So don't forget that. But first we're going to score. So, score at 5, 3, 4. That's 1. Then I'm going to turn it. And I'm scoring at 3 and a half. And 7. Now if you are folding this down together you will see that we have a slightly difference between these two you see the back is a little longer than the front that is what we are going to cut down so we have it equal so this piece we need to cut down to have a perfectly correctly size so that is all all right, so then you can fold this down and then we fold this down and I put this away for a second because now I want to make a decorative edge and I'm going to cut the small size I'm going to use a Martha Stewart punch it's really not um, specially needed but I like to give it an extra shabby look fits really nice to this paper it's the shabby look so that's why I like to do it so making a nice decorative edge and it's really easier 
to do this first before we cut the page. Okay, that's done. Oh, hello. Hello. It's getting stuck somewhere. I don't want to whip it. You guys. Oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, I will overdo this, but anyway then what we have is this okay so we are going to cut this down and i'm just only going to cut the score line like this and then we also do this on this piece so i'm just cutting on the right side of my score line all the way to the end and then when this is gone I cut on the left side of my score line so you'll see that I cut a little of this and that is that so fold this together and this on this side and this on the back and then this will be a pocket and this will be a pocket so we have a flip to the left a pocket on the right side this we glue together with a hinge with a hinge and then we flip it over and we have another pocket and a white page on this piece all right let's do it again together all right we score at five three four we turn the page and score at three and a half and seven fold it down and cut this even it's just a slightly piece that we need to cut off then fold this piece and this piece Like. If you like, you can use a edge die, which I do, and I use. Gosh, it's not my day. <laughs> okay, um, I choose a, a few different ones because I don't like always getting the same image and the same pages. So I really like doing some other edge dies using so so I choose these three okay all right and then again I'm going to cut this only cutting the score line off. Do the exact same thing on this side, only cutting the score line off. this back together and apply this piece of hinge There we 
go. Just close that page. And now we have one pocket on this side, one pocket on this side, and one page on this side, and one page on this side. That is it. That's the page. Okay, so we have one to flip a pocket, which we are going to close, of course, after we put some design paper on the back. We have the opening, what gives us the opportunity to put it on, on the page, like this, shovel it over it, and then it's done. And then it looks like this, opening, um, pocket, opening for a nice insert later, pocket, and on and on. All right. So, that's it. Well, you need six of these, of course, six pages for six hinges, and then uh, you can decorate. Wow! Okay. So, let's do some decoration together, but first make some pages. Alright, so I cut out all of my um, papers, and well, then it's just a matter of matting. So... Let's do one together. Um, I what I did with this uh, project, I used some brown papers, and here in Holland, it's it's a really ugly one on the B side. So um, and a nice color on this side. So what I did was I grabbed some design paper and I copy in black. So I get this and this. And uh, for example, something like this. So it gives a little more attitude to the brown paper. And I choose the brown for as a background for the pocket page. So let's grab my distress ink. And let's distress the edges. And then I will glue this down. And then we can make the pocket close. is a really ugly color on this side so I really can't use this brown for making pages but I can use these papers to cover up some nice background and I really like the brown so it's really nice to add another color than only the design paper I normally I will really like doing that if it's a color cardstock or Oh, I'm not going to smooch. Oh, let's see. That's the problem with the white. It gets smoochy immediately, and we don't want that. So, clean that off. All right. Let's use this to make sure that the glue is steady. And then, you know... When you get a full sheet, there is a strip on. On the back, it's 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 called what it is, and on the back, it's some nice design paper. And I, you know me, <laughs> I always like to use everything, so I use this for covering up this strip. So I'm first going to cut this in the right size. And then I think, well, yeah, I am going to cut just a little edge off. It just needs just a little, just a little touch. Watch this, and of course each page with the pocket is the same, so it's really easy going. It's easy going, but it really is wow. 
I just love this. What do you think? And the pocket page is done. Cool, isn't it? And inside here we can make the card after we put this on the hinges, of course. But let's do the back side too. And then we go on the other pages. And on the other pages you can do anything you like. You can make pockets out of it. Or you can make a flip page. You really can do anything what you want with it. But um, what I think is um, I don't want this to be bulky. Because I really want this to be a flip, uh, a flippable little book. Where is still the place to put some nice photos in. So that is what I... I don't want it too thick. So I be gentle with making pockets or flippity flops. Just keep it simple. That is what I, my message is for this project. Keep it simple. And that will do perfectly for this project. Okay, let's smooch this a little. So I always love to use every single piece of paper first before I cut down another big sheet. I always like that. So for the meaning I have these cut out already. Um, well not already, it's, it's just the leftovers and all my strips are right beside me so I can see and use them right away if I want them. So don't throw everything away. Just see what you have and first use it all. Alright. Okay, so that is for the pocket. Really easy going. So let's see what we are going to do on the top. What is also nice to use, if you have any nice dies, um, to make a nice extra flip page. So let's see where... The end is of my page, that is there, so I want a square line, fold it, and of course cut this down for the flippity flop. And then you can add this to your page right here. Shall we do this in the middle? Well, I think on this side so it flips out. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to make this flippable to the outside, nice in the middle. Now I can place a design paper on it. It's really taking care of, of your white paper. So glue this down. apply some of this brown nicely edge cut out where you want it and on the back I want the same thing so let's cut them right away So 
So yeah, there are several ways to use this die also. Really fun dies. Brand new labels from Kaylee's. So blessed that she sent me these. Really cool. And then on the back, I want this too. It's really nice to add some um, sentiment on it, if you like or some whiting, always nice. There we go. There we have our flip page. Cool. And you can make this um, so it don't go anywhere. Let's 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 use. A little, mm, a little strip. I don't need that much, but just a little strip. Let's say this piece. We can, we can make use this piece. Just want to show you what's an option to do. So, let's watch this. Now, if I we will glue this down only on three edges then we create a nice little tuck spot yep that's just a little tuck spot and let's see if I do I need a smaller card. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. I do have one. I need something on the back. But um, say you have a little card like this. And then you can put this in. And then it all stays put nicely. So you can put this out. And you have a nice flippable piece. You can put your nice photo on here on the back if you like. And then this closes down. Oh, nice touch okay so let's go to the inside let's keep the inside uh, really simple let's use the, oh let's use this piece it's really nice and easy going what you also can do is create nice flat pockets um, to make a nice increase um, in a paper, an incision. That's also doable. Let's say, let's say I want, yeah, let's do that. Let's cut a nice little piece right here, right here. There we go. Just a nice little incision. Now before we glue this down, we definitely need to glue our above that incision. And then only of course on the edges below to create a nice little hidden tuck spot. If you don't want that of course then you don't need to. but. It's just an option. And so you can do all your pages um, just going, keep going and going. If you have a nice little tag, you can put this in. I use, oh yeah, I also <laughs> grabbed on the um, craft fair last month uh, the frost, the lavender frost journaling cards. Perfect. I always love these. And you just can use these for the pockets always like that Ta -da. really easy going easy peasy I think this fits better here 
and then do this on this side. Okay. Then I want another piece of design paper. Let's see. Do I have something? Yeah, let's use this piece. And let's keep this one plain so it won't get too bulky. And we love this paper, so it's really perfect. Alright, and then on the back, what shall we do with that? Shall we keep that plain too? Oh, I think this is enough pockets, but let's use this piece. is a little more nice. Let's cut this out first. And well, we definitely need to cut it straight of course. That's better. Yeah, that fits way better. Let's go all the way here and there. Okay, let's switch this up. Okay, what shall we use on the background? These have some leftovers. Um, I can use brown, but is that too much brown? Well, for one, for once, it can be done. Let's use this piece. That's the leftover from my card, so why not use it? Let's cut out the little stitches. And then it fits perfectly. Nope, just a little more. Just a little more. <laughs> Definitely need it to use my pencil to make a nice mark. Okay. Alright, so I glue this down. Right here. And then of course, make a little tuck spot. Only glue three sides, three sides to create a nice tuck spot. There we go. Yeah. All right. Perfect. What do you think? I think it's already <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty. And I did made, I did made a little. Uh, booklet and that's also very nice uh, to use you can write on you can draw on I always like putting these ease in but perhaps this will fit right here when the glue is dry it will but we'll see wow this is already fat don't know if I'm going to use it but it's just an example all right all right well, then we go on and on with every pages <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's do one more together. Um, you know I always like first use my leftovers. So now I have these two left. So it's a perfect way to, let's say, let's use this to make pockets, of course. And you can make large pockets out of it or small pockets. Let's make this a bit larger. Because, oh, we just can. So, make a flippity flop. And then, make a nice mark. And then, make another fold line. And cut it out. Okay. Really 
easy going making a pocket. So let's glue this in. This is the top. Don't forget the bottom. Otherwise your cards will be missing of course, but let's glue this on top. Right there. There we go. And then we just need something for in it. And um, yeah, you can even you can even use this for the top. Let's go crazy. Let's use this for the top. We want it all. We use, we want to use it all. That's the worst what I was trying to say. Let's go glue this down on the top. Like so. And then we only need something for in here. Um, yeah, let's use this piece. Cut off my stitches from the die. So you don't need that. And then uh, I really want the stitches to be seen on here. And this do not need to go all the way down. So I'm going to cut it and smudge it to give it nice extra touch and then this slides in your pocket and that's that and then put it on its place with the little edge there you go so easy easy going cool and then you can put anything in it of course Yep. Cool. Easy peasy. Just keep it simple and that's it. Okay. Now doing the next pocket. This is really a nice project to do. It's it's well, it's not being done in an hour, of course, because I'm especially not making two. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it, it's also not that difficult. It's just easy going. And just give it a little flair with doing, once in a while, a little different. As a... Oh, this can... Use a little bigger, a bigger one. Okay, let's use this one. This one is a little bigger. So like I said, you don't need to be... Um, this, this mini album really do not need that much difficulty because we want to make it fun not too difficult that is the message keep it easy easy going alright let's now use this leftover strip Let's say this piece. What do you think? Let's fold this in half. Let's see what then happens. Okay. Let's cut these 
equally yep. on the right spot. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got two pieces. And what if I put the first one under and the other one up? Then you will see what I'm going to do. Yes, it's going to be another little tuck spot. So I'm gluing the simplest one on the right side. And then smooch this one. and this gluing down only three sides and now I create with a leftover a simple tuck spot page here we go you see how simple it is to use all your papers use it all alright what do you think I'll just keep <laughs> grabbing these, but you can uh, use, oh this one is too thick, but you can use anything. I should cut out a little more of my dies, so it gives another special look. But you get the point that this is a nice extra tuck spot. Alright, yeah. So pocket, tuck spot, now it really needs something simple. Otherwise we go crazy with the pockets. So let's glue first a simple one on. Here we go. And this paper is so cute. Cute, 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 cute. Let's put this on the back. And on this piece, I totally forgot to copy it in black, so I copied it in color, but it's still nice. Here we go, for the background, glue the pocket down. use this piece because it's the same one as this one. Cute! Here we go! And then just only the back. go crazy with the pockets but <laughs> okay and then for the last piece let's say I want yeah I really like something to flip so I am going to cut out a little from the die so back in one sec let's see let's see what we're going to make um first of all I'm going to make a pocket so I can use this as a closure for my flippity flops. Always like that. So first I'm going to glue this down. Same as we did at the front. Okay. Here we go. Now before we do the background, we are going to see what we want. We can use this to go up. That would be nice, I think, for a change. So let's make a 
flippity flop. Let's cut out what we don't need. Let's fold this and let's glue it down. Side, but we also can, if we want, put another flippity flop. But I think that's too much on one page. I will stop. <laughs> okay, so yeah, put some. Let's choose. Let's choose. This was the same one. Use this as the background. We don't need all the way down, so I'm going to cut this piece off. Always can use that later. Okay, let's glue this down. Guys, I love this paper. Did I say <laughs> I love this paper? Really, so adorable. Okay, let's glue this in. And put this up on its place. Here we go. That should do it. up this piece and I did not cut it all out because I just want to save my papers and you know me I like sometimes doing some crazy stuff so that is on the bottom and then this for the top on the other side and then I think I will use some brown for beneath what do you think cool let's use some brown this one is too small Let's use this. Let's cut this first in the right position. There we go. With a nice little white edge. That's how I like it. did not see my little mark, so I was checking. I really can tell what the difference is if you are using another piece of cardstock. Well, I am using now the brown, but I really think it gives an extra touch than only using the design paper. What do you think? Now, just a little piece on this. Well, this is of course not wide enough. Okay, let's cut out this piece. And measure it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alrighty, let's smooch it up. Mm. 
There we go. That's it, guys. That's it for a nice flip. This flips open. Cool. Alright, so... Yeah, you get the meaning. Uh, I don't... Don't... Well, I can, but... I think this is boring. I want to use another one. I can use this piece, but... I think I want a small one for this. So it covers up this piece. So, alright. That's it for this page. What do you think? Cool, isn't it? Yeah.